Okay, James here, I'm back, and we're going to continue with what we were doing. And the next thing we're going to need to do is now we've got this long swoop, which actually I'm going to turn back to standard view. Now you can see we've extended this big swoop. What we need to do is actually go back to our standard load. So we probably only want to do this over a, a couple of frames, maybe to here. We'll just go back to light beam one. We'll just grab these frames. Now again, this clearly isn't the result we're hoping for. So we need to go over to our tool properties and start setting some contour hints. Need to make sure we hit the right frame. I'm just going to try to keep the same pattern going around. You know, I mean, it doesn't matter if these numbers aren't in order; it'll still work fine. I just like to sort of use the numbers to give to give me some logic. Even if these points look like they're on the line move them around and make sure they are snapped to the line because if they're not then this won't work in the way that you're hoping it will work you need to make sure that they're snapped so now our blade should go back down which is great and this point here we also want to be our first light beam I'm now going to do, I'm going to just expand this. So now we're going to do the swoop back in the other direction. Now I'm not going to go all the way with this swoop. I'm going to stop a few frames short because my aim is that we're going to go back to a standard here so that we can then swoop back out here and then go back down with no trails. So we're going to aim for this sort of point as the end of our trail. So I'm going to copy this. Paste it down here. I'm just going to actually that's not the one we want. We actually want this one here because this is where we start. So we want our starting point. I was a bit mistaken there. That was our tar. That was where we want to finish, but we need to use a target. So let's say that's. I'm going to go here. So now, yeah, clearly that didn't show up the way I intended it to, so I'm going to delete that, head back to here, copy it. It's because I didn't have this visible, so I'm going to go back down there, and now it's where we'd like it to be. So I'm just going to grab the paint tool, paint it red, again because it's our target. And again, we're going to copy this. And we're going to flick it over to a blank one. And now you can see we've got our image three. So we can now edit this. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm just going to take these points out. I just find the reason you can leave the points in. I just find that for me personally, I find it much easier to work with this contour tool with less points. So uh, maybe I'm not going to join this all the way over. So 
And we'll just do the shape this and the shape to be right. I say that's fine. Actually, let's just pull this around a bit. And that's acceptable. And then we're going to go back here to our drawing line. So, we'll just grab this. And we're going to start from our frame one. And now we just need to go and do what we did before. Another hints. Actually, we're going to have to before we do that. Some do this. We need to go to our endpoint, and we need to add these extra points that I deleted out. So don't forget to do this because with, with if you don't have enough points, this morph isn't going to work properly, which is why the extra points are in, so that when you interpolate over time, these points you know create a nice shape. So now let's go do this. We'll grab our first one, grab our morph tool, tool properties, and we're going to add our contour hints. So one, two. You can see this is going to be a very similar. Ah, uh, we want three, four, five, six. It's going to be a very similar process, for each swoop. But it's a worthwhile thing to learn. The more you get a handle on this morph tool, the easier things become. I mean, people who know me from the Toon Boom forums remember I used to absolutely hate this tool. But now it's like one of my favourite tools and you can do pretty much anything with it. And that's what I really love about it. So, now we just snap these right back to the lines. You can see it's a really quick process. Quicker than, you know, grabbing each drawing yourself and trying to do it by hand and you're know, drawing each in, in between. I mean you could do that and it would be a perfectly legitimate method and it would still work but I think for the purpose of this and you can see look how quick I just got that out into a swoop and here over these few frames we're going to want to go back the other way So again, we'll grab our morphing tool, and to to a hint, and zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and just snap them again back to the line. And then we'll just go to our end target. And naturally, you snap these all back into. So just it's just a simple matter of putting them where you want them to be. And you can see how easy this has become. That now, so they've. That stops. Now we've only got one more to do, and I'll just sort of finish that off in the next part, and we'll add a blur to it just to make it look nice.